this one minute. Please, no more. Please, no more. Stop. Greetings. Let me have a look at your stock. Take care. Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Time we were on our way. Mm-hmm. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Temerian colours. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit! They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog, said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition, that they don't fear the wrath of the gods, and you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister attending to the birth, and you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath! You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promised you, freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. started.
Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. I wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't. Though I could have. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazare and Vicovaro will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Fezimir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then... But then... This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. <laughs> Hmm. 
Hmm. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to His Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Catwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. How goes it? Preparations for the audience proceeding as planned? Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? No. Morvran Voris, commander of the Albert Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men, all of them. Indeed, were. For none have returned to Vizima, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat. Wild Hunt killed them. A cavalcade of wraiths dashing across the night sky. These omens of war the peasantry bubbles about. <laughs> Expect me to believe that. Frankly, I don't really give a damn. Nordlings, we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. Done. Shall I shave him once more against the grain? No. He himself is very much against the grain. That's enough. Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, see you soon. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. 
head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate time. Mean to me, your arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Grimmy et art kerzer, Dyfen aden in karn eb marvut, Emir var emreis. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favot. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. Know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks? Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter Cyrilla, she's returned, and she's in danger. The Wild Hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri... left. Went far, far away. Do you believe I'd drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an Emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanafu will do that, after the audience. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless, if for no other reason than because I shall pay you more than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. Did the gentleman not understand? Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? Relax, nothing happened. To the gentleman? But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. We've had enough breaches of etiquette for one day. And it's past mean to me a day to calm yourself. What? what? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herivard the Second, Prince of Elanda. Not only am I made to wait yeah. here like some suckers. Ratslieden, eh, 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 eh,
and selfed them carte, as a plant and a plant much, and selfed them sickyard. Once the gentleman is done, he should need to retrieve his possessions. A quill sharpened yet? Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Emir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Ciri, all right? Right. Amir said the Wild Hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places, Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in Black Velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things.
citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Hmm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mentioned something of the sort. So long. The Emperor shall guide us straight to Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her, at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest.